Hello and welcome to my first career sim on NHL 24. We are going with the first overall pick in the 2023 NHL entry draft, Connor Bedard. One of the first things I noticed is that Bedard was 83 overall and he only had three silver abilities. But then I remembered that in franchise mode, they made it more dynamic this year where X factors and abilities are added or removed as the player does what he does. So as players start to get older and their production goes down, they might lose some abilities, X Factor might turn into an ability, and obviously a young player coming into the league, if they start lighting it up, they are going to be gold very soon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what NHL 24 thinks is going to happen in Connor Bedard's career. Bedard is starting off as a Taylor Sandwich. And he has his entry level deal signed. The team looks sketchy. Lots of low 80s and high 70s all around. So, looks like they're set to have a miserable first season with Bedsy. But they managed to perform better than I thought they would. The team managed to get 38 wins and 82 points. Point per game, not a big deal. Which landed them 6th in the Central Division. Connor had a total of 35 tucks and 74 points in his first season. He was also a plus 15, and we can already see that he shoots the puck a lot. His success would land him the Calder Memorial Trophy, so we are off to a good start. The year one Stanley Cup final was the Crapitals and the Oilers, with Washington taking home the cup, but more importantly, Ovi getting his second cup. Chicago drafted Emil Hemming as well this year, a 68 overall winger with top six potential. Chicago went nuts this offseason, adding a ton of players, one of them being Lindholm to play on the right side of Bedsy, with Hall still there on the left. Forwards wasn't the only improvement, they also got some new defenders and a new starting goalie, Ilya Samsonov between the pipes. With all these additions, the team's performance was immediately impacted and they would play second in the division with 44 wins and 98 points. Speaking of points, Connor had 96 of them and surpassed the 50 goal mark in just his second season. Again, taking a ton of shots. It looks like he and Lindholm pair well together. The more insane thing is that Chicago went on an absolute run in the playoffs. Bedard played 24 games and was nearly point per game. He was, however, a dash six, which is not a good look. Unfortunately, they would be bounced in the cup final by the Rangers, but I think it's safe to say that this team is trending in the right direction. Taylor Hall is no more in year three. DeBrusque is added to the top line with 96 overall. Connor Bedard. The GM also brought McCabe back, and this Kevin guy looks really solid. Ilya still tending the goal. Chicago makes the playoffs again with a fifth place finish in the Central, grabbing 44 wins during the season. Bedsy nearly won the Art Ross and Rocket Richard already. This man is off to a roaring start. And how about another deep playoff run? This time, he would be over point a game and surprisingly have. 18 penalty minutes? This is now back-to-back -back years the Rangers defeat Chicago in six games for the Stanley Cup. So close, yet so far. Ovi clearing Gretzky's goal record, finishing with 966. Once again, Bedsy is put with a new left winger. This time it is Reichel. Debrus down to the second line and a thick new contract to sign seven years at just over 10 million AAV. Got a solid goaltender tandem and it is a great year for Chicago, finishing third in the league with 106 points. Lindholm and Bedard producing big time being one and two, move over, McDavid and Leon. There was, however, a lackluster playoff showing. He didn't go home completely empty-handed as he won a Rocket Richard. It would be the Jets going on to win the Stanley Cup. And the band sticks together here. Look at that third line though, that is outrageous. The decor still looks solid going into this season. Same goaltender duo. And there would be another deep playoff run for a fourth place Chicago team in the Central Division. Bedard just shy of 100 points. He nearly got there. He did get 51 goals though. How about it? 34 points in 27 playoff games and they finally get it done. They beat the Leafs in the Stanley Cup final seven games. That is Stanley Cup number one for Connor as well as a Conn Smythe trophy. He is blazing out of the gate here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They have a very similar team once again. And it pays off for them as they finish 6th in the league with 49 wins and 100 points. Bedard is 4th behind 3 Leafs. He had 63 goals. That is insane. However, there was a very lackluster playoff performance. 
coming off of a Stanley Cup winning year. So that's disappointing, but you know what? You won the cup last year, so you can't win them all. Crosby just shy of 2,000 points. He definitely got close. The team has Tarasov as the backup now. I guess that's a roster change. And they finished fifth in the Central. Bedard puts up 54 goals and 105 points. He also only put up four points in six playoff games. So again, a very brief showing in the loss. They would be bounced by the Edmonton Oilers. Kevin has upgraded to a gold X-Factor instead of just having the silver abilities. And the team wins a President's Trophy. Bedard has 59 goals this time and 114 points. He also did quite well in the playoffs over point a game, but they would be waxed by the Ducks in the conference finals. Copistar with a very satisfying number of assists. Nikita Kucherov at the young age of 38 will be Bedsy's right winger this year. They still make the playoffs with 99 points. They finished fifth in the central. Connor couldn't get to 50 goals or 100 points this year. But it's just one season. Shake it off, Bedsy. He did have a very brief playoff showing. You can't blame Sam Sonov. And I found this very interesting. Blomfist won the Vesna, but Ilya started all the playoff games. So I don't know what's going on here. I guess Blomfist was the starter in the season. Maybe, no, because he had 26 games. I don't know. He could have got hurt, I guess. Anyway, Timo Meyer is the new right winger for Bedard, taking over the place of Kucherov. Nashville had an insane 65 win season. And Chicago finished ninth in the league and missed out on playoffs because of their division. Somebody has to do something about this playoff system because it is out of control. The Leafs win the cup in seven over the wild and McKinnon retires with 1,623 points. A new contract is signed only one year though at 12.2 million. The defensive core not looking very strong and the team finishes seventh in the central with 92 points. So... They are 14th in the league and miss out on playoffs again, but the 20th place Golden Knights make it. Bedard got hurt this year. He only played 56 games. He did have 68 points still, however, and the Leafs win back-to-back -back cups. This time it is over LA. See you later, McDavid, and you cannot make this up. He signs with the Vancouver Canucks. I actually laughed when I saw this because there is no way. It's almost as if the game knows, but yeah, he <laughs> signs a six-year 13 and a half million dollar contract and it is a good first season with Vancouver as they finish seventh in the league and Bedard has 109 points which has him second just behind Jimmy Superstar. They have a deep playoff run in their first year and they win the Stanley Cup. Vancouver fans are losing their minds right now. This is insane. They beat the Rangers with a sweep. He should almost pull a Kawhi Leonard and just get out of there. Come in and just be an absolute hero for one year. Because how do you live up to that? Also, Roger McQueen? Kachow! What a name. Tanev, the backup goalie. Wonder if he's related to Chris or Brandon. Vancouver finishes second in their division. Bedard has 103 points and 60 tucks. But after a Stanley Cup winning year, a lackluster performance would happen just like it did in Chicago. He did win the Rocket Richard, however, and Pasta gets pretty close to Wayne Gretzky right there in terms of goals. Bedsy is paired with a couple of 84 overalls, and Captain Quinn is gone, but they got Jesper Hedman, a 91 overall beast. They finished sixth in the Pacific Division with 41 wins and 87 points, and Bedard would be second in the league with 114, but he gets another Richard, and Chicago made it to the Stanley Cup Finals this year. His old team seeing some success. What a loaded retirement class that was, by the way. Roger McQueen gets the upgrade. He will now be playing with Connor, and they finished fifth in the league this year with 109 points. Bedsy didn't really have a great offensive year. I mean, he did have 50 goals, okay? But I mean, like, he set the bar so high for himself that the expectations are nuts. You did this to yourself, Connor, all right? I don't make the rules. Nylander, 1,900 points. Look at him go. This line stays together forever. McQueen, Cam, and Bedard. And I mean, it works out for them. They finished fourth in the league this time. An Art Ross winning year from a 122 point getting Connor Bedard. A decent playoff run as well. They had 16 games. That could just mean they swept and won the cup, but they didn't. They made it to the conference finals where the Minnesota Wild beat them in seven. And this time we got Matthew Kachuk up at the top. The line is still together as it will be for literally ever. 
Um, so yeah, expect that to be a thing. The Vancouver Canucks get 97 points, which is good enough for third in the division. Another Art Ross winning year. But unfortunately, the playoffs just didn't go. I mean, you can maybe blame the goalies. They don't really have the best goalies in the world right now. So, bit of an issue there. But look at all the hardware this guy's winning. It's actually out of control. Look who goes on to win the Stanley Cup. It is Chicago beating the Red Wings in five games. So it wasn't even really a contest. Massive contract to sign here. Not really in terms of duration. But the dollar value is certainly looking nice for our guy right here. The team did not make the playoffs this year, but that is not Benzie's fault. He had 64 goals, a Rocket Richard winning year, and again, he almost had the Art Ross. He was right up there in the conversation. McQueen, Cam, Bedard, forever and beyond. They are still the number one line for Vancouver. And speaking of the Canucks, they get 99 points this year. Finished fourth in the Pacific Division, and the Vancouver Canuck first line had the top three points in the league. We saw the Leafs do it earlier, but there is a new sheriff, or I guess sheriffs, in town. Smashville winning the Stanley Cup over Tampa in seven. That line continues to put this team on their back. Carter, 71 overall is the backup. At least Bruin went up in overall, and they finished sixth in the league. They also did bits again. Bedard actually had the least amount of points from that first line, but they all did insane. Not so much in the playoffs. I mean, to be fair, they had their guy. If you look at their stats, can't fully blame them, but yeah, it is what it is. They still lost. Jimmy! 2,000 points? What an absolute mad lad. So Bedard has one year where he gets less points than Cam and McQueen, and they demote him to the second line. That's outrageous. He did sign an $11 million contract, though, for just one year. Clearly wants to stay in Vancouver. They finished fifth in the Pacific, missing out on the playoffs, and he still had 94 points, which is second on the team. Not sure if he was on the second line the whole year, but their goalies did not have a good time, and the Sharks go on to win the cup for year number 21. The draft pick that went right after Bedard, Leo Carlson, finishes with 1,426 points in this sim. Another one-year deal is signed. No McQueen on the first line, but Bedard and the Canucks have another successful season, just shy of 100 points, and another Art Ross at the age of 39. I don't know who the oldest person to win the Art Ross is, but I feel like he just set the record. All right, I looked it up. Martin St. Louis did it at the age of 37, so he did, in fact, just set a record. The Red Wings sweep the wild in the Stanley Cup Finals this year. The Canucks were bounced by the LA Kings in round one, and Bedsy finally calls it a career. Where do I start? 1,755 games? Who cares? Because 1,180 goals. And how about 2,300 points? That puts him at second all time. He also set the goal record by a lot. Because even Ovi didn't get to 1,000 in this sim. His most successful season was 127 points, but he also had 67 goals in the 36-37 season. There were several deep playoff runs, definitely some trophies earned. So let's get into some of the career overview. Connor signed 22 years worth of contracts and earned a total of 236 million. He would only play for two teams throughout his career and that would be Chicago and Vancouver. Hopefully I'm not missing anything here, but what a laundry list. He won the Richard six times, the Lady Bing four times, got three Art Rosses, two Conn Smice and two Stanley Cups. So both times he won the cup. He was the MVP essentially. He won the President's Trophy once. He did end up getting the Calder. He got the Hart Memorial one time, one Ted Lindsay, two turtle doves and a partridge and a pear tree. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That is a wild first career simulation for NHL 24. I appreciate you and I will see you soon. Also, if you could subscribe and like, that'd be really cool, but you don't have to. All right, see you later.